Malaysia's armor vehicles used to be largely of foreign origin, but it is now able to build its own military equipment. AV-8 Gempata is the latest generation of 8x8 armor personnel carriers of the Malaysian Armed Forces. It is a multi-purpose amphibious armor vehicle developed by Malaysian defense company DevTech with support from Turkish defense company FNSS. The vehicle was officially put into operation in 2014, and so far, about 257 units have been produced. The AV-8 will replace the obsolete infantry fighting vehicles CMOS 6x6 and Condor 4x4 being used by the Malaysian Army. The Death Touch AV-8 8x8 is also considered a modernized variant of the Turkish FNSS PARS AFV model. It is Malaysia's first indigenous 8x8 armor vehicle. AV-8 has a weight of about 30 tons, length is 8 meters, width is 2.7 meters, and height is 2.70 meters. The crew of three includes commander, gunner, and driver. The driver and the commander seats are located at the front of the vehicle. The turret in the middle and the tube's compartment at the rear. There is three large day periscopes at the front position of driver and commander and one on each side that provide excellent visibility. Eleven infantrymen can be seated at the rear of the hull on individual seats down each side of the hull facing inwards. Onshock absorbing seats are fitted with five point seat bearers as standard. Back of the driver and commander position, there is an access passage to the tube compartment at the right side of the hull. The tubes leave and enter the vehicle via a large hydraulic ramp mounted at the rear of the hull. The hull of the original PARS consisted of a composite aluminum and steel armor that provides protection for the crew and infantry against firing of small arms, 7.62mm armor piercing attack through a full 360 degrees. The AV-8 has add-on armor at the front and sides to increase protection level to standard 4569 level 4 with protection against 14.5mm rounds. The AV-8 Gambata uses an 8x8 chassis and is motorized with a German turbocharged diesel engine developing 550 horsepower, coupled with a fully automatic transmission with 6 forward and 1 reverse gears. The diesel power pack is mounted to the rear of the driver. The AV-8 can run at a maximum road speed of 100 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 700 km. The added armor weight resulted in the decrease of water speed from 8 km of original to only 6 km per hour. The anti-tank version with LCT-30 turret is not amphibious. There are two main Gambata variants, designated LCT-25 and LCT-30, with quite powerful weapons. The LCT-30 with a two-man turret 
with 2-axis stabilization and it is armed with a 30mm GL-30 cannon and a F and Herstor MAG-38M coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The integrated fire control system combines a video and thermal sight with three fields of view, an integrated laser range finder, a ballistic computer, an auto tracker, and touch screen battle panels for the commander and the gunner. The LCT-25 or IFV-25 is an amphibious variant and is armed with a one-man sharpshooter turret with a Bushmaster 25mm autocannon. A 7.62mm coaxial machine gun is mounted to the left side of the main armament. The turret is fully stabilized and can fire on the move in both day and night. The IFV-25 variant has additional flows on the right side of the vehicle to balance the vehicle during amphibious operations. Gebeta is expected to become the backbone of Malaysia's armor divisions. AV-8 is rated as equivalent to LAF-25 or BTR-3. It shows the amazing progress of the Malaysian military industry. With its will and determination, Malaysia can completely move towards independent production of this widely used vehicle. My video about the AV-8 Gambitar answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.